Hey guys, um, yes, I'm sitting on my bed. I'm trying to do this until I figure out my setup for these. Um, I've decided to do monthly horoscope readings. I know little to nothing about each horoscope, to be honest. I'm just going to go off of what I see from the cards and my ability, I guess, if you want to call it that. I still don't feel too proud saying that because um, it's just something I've I've been doing for a while. I've been doing tarot readings for a long time, um, but I like to use like one deck at a time. Eventually I do want to start transitioning to using three, four decks, you know, maybe to get an even more accurate reading for you guys. That doesn't always mean you're going to get a more accurate reading. There are just certain people, like example, like mediums or psychics, uh, who use more than one tarot deck um, because that's just how they're trained, their preference, etc. Um, so for now, I'm okay with one. I still think, uh, I don't think I know, uh, the message comes through even with just one deck. That's all you need, one deck, okay? You don't have to go splurge all this money on it, and I really don't feel like splurging all money on it on more than one deck at a time because um, spiritual things cost a lot. Anyway, metaphysical things, crystals cost a lot. Jeez, I mean, um, if I think of all the times I bought a metaphysical item, or anything metaphysical related, um, uh, I don't know the sum of the total, because you get my point. Uh, tarot cards are not that cheap, you know. I do think um, you have to pay for the quality, and whatever draws you in. And I, I've said this before, I use the Light and Shadow Tarot by Brian Williams and Michael Gottford. I'm using the microphone now, the lighting is okay. I kind of wanted to create like a calm lighting, you know, a little bit yellow tint just to get you guys, you know, comfortable, you know, take your drink. I have my lemonade in front of me. <laughs> Sit down, relax, you know, I want you to be as calm as possible for this open to receive messages and be aware of what may come through for you. Now I'm doing this uh, for all 12 um, horoscopes, okay? Um, and I'm actually, I'm going to, since I'm new at this, I'm actually going to look up, like, all of the horoscopes. Um, because I just want to see, um, which one comes first. There's Cancer, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Gemini. I have to go to more results. Sagittarius, Libra, Scorpio, Virgo. So the first one that shows up is Cancer, so I'm going to do Cancer first. And that's also my brother's horoscope. Sorry the dog is in this room, I didn't want to leave him out. This is going to take a long time, and I don't think I can get through all of them today. I, you might see a different outfit, different environment. Um, the next days, when after posting this, because of um, changes, I just got this shirt, by the way. I was wearing another shirt just now, but it totally was not suitable for this kind of video, so I was like, you know what, it's inappropriate, just change it. Uh, so I briefly went over all of the cards um, and studied them just to know, like, you know, what they are, their meanings, just to refresh my memory. I already knew about most of them, but um, I just wanted to be sure so I know certainly uh, to give you the most accurate reading possible. And this is for um, entertainment purposes, you know, because I can't always be 100% right. A lot of you have told me, actually, undoubtedly, all of you have told me so far from the pick a card readings that they're accurate, like, to the T. Like, I'm actually shook because of that. Um, and, you know, some of you told me that you've got, I've gotten some parts correct. So, um, at least to get some parts correct means a lot to me. That means I'm doing the right thing. Um, I think Spirit is speaking through me and trying to give me your messages. And um, I'm just going to bring this up real quick. For some reason, um, whenever people bring up death, like um, their animal died or their relative died or their friend's relative died, like, I'll get so somehow anxious and drained after a while because I feel like they'll want to reach out to me, but I don't know exactly how yet. Like the other day I was at the phone store and um, somebody said that their friend's dog just passed away. Um, I guess they got reminded because they brought my dog, right? 
And um, I immediately saw a black dog with long hair. It was like black and white, kind of spotty. And I was just like, oh, okay, come through, spirit, right? And, and then I felt uneasy the rest of the day. So um, that happened one time uh, to me at a bank when I was applying for a loan. Great, right? So, um, all right, I'm just going to get to it. I just wanted to kind of explain, give this like basic vlog to just tell you um, what I'm doing, okay? So let's get started for Cancer. Um, I'm going to shuffle the cards. This is going to be for the month of July 2018, okay? So that's clear. It's going to be in the title, the description. You know, you're going to see it's going to be uh, clear to you. And I'll make sure to leave a timestamp below um, to let you know when the reading begins so you wouldn't have to go through the trouble of when does this happen, right? <laughs> Although in the snake video, I admit I didn't leave a timestamp because I wanted the suspense to be there and I actually wanted you to genuinely watch my video because um, that video got a lot of views. It usually gets, you know, my, this channel didn't get many views. You know, each video will get an average of a thousand views, I think, so. Um, yeah, I wanted you guys to actually see my vlog and get a feel for even new people, newcomers to the vlog, to, to be able to give them a chance to subscribe to this channel, you know. I wanted them to see what I'm about and um, my real true side, the real me, you know. Um, I didn't want people to just, you know, I don't like, I don't know, there's nothing I can do about this, but I don't like when people are like going to a 10 minute long video, 20 minute long video, 50 minute long video, and they're like, can someone give me a timestamp to the part where I'm at, where I actually care? And I'm just like, why are you here? You know, if you actually like the content, watch, you know, sit down, have your cup of Nescafe and watch the dang thing. <laughs> I told you guys before, the best way to support me and other YouTubers, play the video in the background. Don't even watch the video. Like, have it leaving on, in, the, in the computer, on the phone, on the, on the tablet, on the pad. Have it playing in the background. Do your daily things while it's playing in the background. That in itself supports us, you know? I always say that. Watch time counts, it really does. So, alright. Let's get started here. Please, for the cancer, month of July 2018, please, message come through. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here. I get so distracted putting the cards down and trying to, like, see in advance what they are. I just put them down first, and then I take a look at what they are. Okay. All right, and I'm doing the Celtic cross spread, which looks like this. So that's the layout of the cards I always do and always will do, just to let you know. Any astrologers on here? Anything? Okay, so like I said, I know nothing about astrology, mostly. All I know about cancers is they can be emotional people. Um, they're very watery. They're water sign, of course, uh, the sign of the crab. Very sensitive, uh, somewhat intuitive beings. Um, they're good people. That's all I know about them, though, is just they're very, very sensitive, and that's the watery side. You know, when you think of water, you think of, um, it's the Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, okay? Um, so this may be a lesson to some of you new here, don't know what this stuff really is, or if you already know, then it's kind of acknowledges it, confirms the truth, but, um, yeah, it's almost like hypersensitivity, like, over the littlest things, they may get triggered, and there's little differences between men cancers and female cancers. Um, men cancers and female cancers. I, what am I saying? Okay, you understand me. But, um, yeah, so that's mostly what I know. I don't know the little details. Like, when I think of, let's say, example, Aries, I'll think of, um, you know what? Watch the Aries video if you want to know. <laughs> okay, that's way beyond the point. All right, so... For the first card, uh, I'm just referencing to my notes again, just just so I know, like for sure, like what each card is. Okay, I just freshly picked these. This is the present, right? So, um, this is the. I might have to actually zoom you guys in for a bit. I'm thinking, should I live stream these, or should I just do this out of poops and giggles? 
The Endless Dance of Death. So for the month of July, like since I'm predicting the future right now, it's June 23rd, okay? So this is for July 1st and July 31st. And whatever comes to head, you know, I may think of beginning of July, middle of July, end of July. I'll let you know, but this is for the whole month basically, okay? Um, but basically right now, uh, you know, it might be best to leave the door open for the dog. Hold on, guys. All right, I gotta take a sip of my lemonade. Basically, you guys feel like you're going through something that's never ending. That's literally what this means. You know, every card has a meaning, but you don't want to overthink it. Um, it's funny that it has the number 13 on the top because that's like considered a bad luck number. I'm born on the 13th. I can tell you it ain't bad luck, okay? Oh, All right, so 13 is actually my lucky number and my favorite number too. It has some significance, some meaning behind it. I'm sorry, this is so unprofessional that I'm on my bed. Excuse me. I will work on the setup, I promise. I would do it on my desk, but it's not like widespread enough. It's a secretary desk. It's kind of small. But... You guys feel like you're going through the same pattern. You must have been through um, maybe a relationship or I'm seeing more a job though that, how do I say, you thought would have had a better outcome. Maybe you got new work or into a new relationship and you wished it would have been better than your former work or lover and it ended up maybe worse. And so you feel like you're through this vicious cycle you can't get out of. You're trying to um, find more uh, money for yourself. You just feel like you're living right now maybe to pay the bills. Um, and it's funny because uh, I'm seeing these different faces in the background. It, it, it's almost like you have no control of your emotions as well. You're kind of like one person one day, then another the next. And you're kind of just... Um, in a space of darkness right now, you're kind of pushing people away in um, the tree in the middle. You're kind of rooting back to yourself, uh, kind of um, kind of shuttered, shutting yourself in right now uh, just to deal with your emotions. That's what cancers do. They have a shell. It's like a crab shell. Think of a crab or a turtle hiding in its shell, actually. And that's what you guys like doing best. When life gets too intense, overwhelming, you want to close off. So that's kind of what you're going through right now. Um, uh, the second card, uh, I'm just going to say this once, like you guys don't need to know this every time, but since my first reading for you guys on this vlog channel, I just thought I'd shout it out. This is the immediate future influence. Okay. Um, this is the Seven of Swords, and this is a beautiful card in its own way because it has such a positive yet dark um, meaning behind it. I see the Aquarius sign on the bottom there and the tribe dancing in the distance which reminds me of the Five of Wands card uh, which is very dark in itself. Um, these cards I use are very um, black and white, literally black and white. Uh, that's why I chose them. They're called Light and Shadow Tarot so you know they kind of give you the straight up answer, the message, this or that, and I like, I'm a very black and white person, I don't, like, there's no bull in my life, like, I'm very straightforward with you, I will tell you the truth, you know, I'm that kind of person, which is why people love me and hate me, but either way, um, I think it's always better to be honest and real, but, um, yeah, see, the sword's kind of, like, stabbing him in the foot right now, you feel like you're kind of, feel like you just sabotaged yourself, like, Maybe you went to a new location and you're like, oh, it's not nothing like I thought. You know, you're carrying the swords to move forward, which are so burdening you and heavy. And then you're looking back at the same time. See, you're kind of like missing your past. You wish you would go back to the past. and um, Or you're looking on the wounds right now. You, you acknowledge you're damaged and you need healing. And um, The crown on his head almost looks like a moon. Again, emotional sensitive. Nighttime, you know, you do your, a lot of thinking around late afternoon, nighttime. You kind of um, look in within and then um, reflect. That's the right word. You reflect. And right now you're wondering should you tread further or stop, drop the swords, go back home? And that might be the best thing for you to do in this case. 
um, it's a very major uh, shifting life changing point you've come at a crossroads and you're kind of like what do I do and I say cancer make the decision make what you feel would be right what would be the right decision for you okay uh, but I can't say for sure yet let's look forward uh, the third card is goals or fears and we have the prince of swords and um, you see the prince is on this big bird must be an eagle and it's grasping two butterflies and it's sitting atop a perch like a stone or something and there's a bunch of like sun rays here and you're kind of just soaring through the clouds so you, you have very um, high wishes high dreams goals um, you don't really tell people your wishes dreams you again that shell um, you kind of want to protect that you know that's like a precious spot a sensitive spot you know you don't want to really come out of the closet so to speak with that um, knowledge you know you don't want to give people too much info um, you're very guarded protected um, your walls are definitely up and um, you're also afraid to let anyone in so that's an imbalance in itself you have high ambitions but also you're very just guarded right now and um, will be through the month of July as you figure things out for yourself and get yourself out of the situation oh cancer Okay, distant past, um, Prince of Pentacles, that's kind of funny, this card came out because I was just thinking of it right before this reading, this is, this card stuck out to me the most, so that might come out in Virgo, I wouldn't be surprised, it's going to be kind of weird doing a Virgo reading, for, it's like looking into my month myself, anyway, I've never done that before, I usually look ahead, like years ahead, I don't really look month to month, but I, I do love watching astrologers uh, give month to month readings. But anyway, um, distant past, I feel like you are very calm, you had money, you were in a place of peace, and again I'm talking about the distant past, like, you're, you're, like the Seven of Swords says, you're wondering to go back to this, basically, your place of for once, not this, not the endless dance of death, not the constant cycle, the one where you could work toward your goals and dreams. And, um, you were just like, ha, ah. you know, the angels were on your side, you felt like everything was just in order, you didn't have to try too hard, you didn't have to, um, it was just a balance, you know, something a few months ago, even a few years ago, was just in perfect order and not chaos for once. Um, recent past, the magician cycle of life, you had to do that change, you had to um, go through a karmic change, really, I think this was karmic. Um, you had to go through this to learn a lesson and there's something you have to learn right now for this month of July, which will shift you to the next paradigm, basically. And so, um, this is just life itself. You're reflecting and thinking on life itself right now, Cancer. Um, future situation. Uh, the Nine of Cups. You're gonna find money. You're gonna get your reward again. And it's going to come in abundances. You're going to sit there. You're going to, you're literally going to be this again. The peace. This is all about peace. She's just sitting there so gracefully, so confident. Okay. She's rewarded. Her cups are filled to the brim. And everything is in order again. And in the preference of the cancer lifestyle. You will have the perfect balance of being in your shell and out of it. Okay. You'll come out of it again. Right now, you're just, you're healing, you're in your shell. Um, so be mindful of that through this month of July, Cancer, okay? Oh, and I, I, I'm thinking of you, I'll pray for you. The questioner, Ace of Pentacles, so basically answering your question, or kind of digging in deeper to what your question may be. Maybe you had an intention before watching this video of mine, uh, and you thought to yourself, okay, what message should come through that should stick out to me first, all right? Um, we always set intense daily, even if we don't try or realize it. Um, 
but in clicking this video you had an intent to find an answer, hopefully, or you're listening on someone else's behalf. And by the way, these readings, um, they may even work for someone who has a moon sign in Cancer or a rising sign. I'm a Virgo, but my rising is Scorpio and my moon is Capricorn, so I can look at those two other readings as well and get my message, you know? Um, so, basically right now, um, this is a hard one to decipher. You're in rest. You're just waiting. You're in waiting. Again, the people, the multiple people in there. And the wheel turning. You're just waiting to see what will happen next. You're kind of just floating by. Not knowing. It's unknown. The future is really unknown, if you think about it. Um, present environment. Two of swords. Shielding. You almost don't want to know what's ahead. You're scared. You're very fearful. Um, again, the night sky. And I think I'm seeing, yep, the moon again. And I think that's the Libra. And the moon again across the belt. And the moon on the, above right there. You're just trying to create a balance in your life right now. You're trying to, I think you're overthinking. I'm almost like I saw the, a, a picture of a brain in my head all of a sudden. You're overthinking. I think cancer needs to relax for the month of July. Rest, rejuvenate. You have a long month ahead of you. It's a 31 day month. It's one of the longest of the year. It's a summer month. Summer months are long. Okay. Um, there are other months that are 31 days, but the winter days are short. Summer is long. We just got done with the summer solstice, you guys. You need to go heal. I see the ocean. You need to, you know, just dip your head in the ocean, heal. Have some time for yourself. You don't have to force it, but try to open yourself a little bit more, you know? Um, I feel like your frustrations are dumping on other people. Try to um, have um, some, I don't want to say patience, you know, without sounding like rude or anything, but like, I mean it in a good way. Um, with patience, everything will come, you know, your reward will come. It just takes a little bit of time sometimes, even for some uh, star signs, like during certain periods, like how we're transitioned now into a, a Taurus and Uranus. Um, there's a lot of karmic energy going on right now and a lot of change for a lot of people and it's frustrating many people and um, also benefiting many more. Or both. <laughs> but it's definitely something for everyone. So. Um, can be good and bad, but mostly good. Unless you did something bad, <laughs> then you're in from some trouble. <laughs> but um, I just think you're overthinking it. it it's not, things are not gonna end up as disastrous as, let's say the cancer brain may think in, in a certain time, like the world may seem like it's ending but ultimately everything ends up being okay every time. Um, and that's what's so beautiful about it and this reading. Um, internal situation, the devil. Again, right now you're just like mass chaos. Your emotions are high and dry. You're just like, you know, cancer's supposed to be smooth, watery, ocean. Think of flowing water. And... Um, you're just, you feel like you're left for dead, like you made a big mistake, you're hitting yourself hard on the head over it, you're wondering why you signed up for something, um, why you got yourself involved into something, how you managed to get yourself stuck again. Um, and the last one is the final result, which is the Princess of Swords. Things are going to end up for you victorious, okay? victorious. There's the owl of mystery in the corner there. Look at her, shining, beaming. These heavy swords weighing you down, burdening you, will be no more cancer. You will be, come out on top, okay? A brave warrior, goddess, queen, or king. 
and you will be shocked. Like you will shock your coworkers at the workplace. You'll shock your family. You'll shock your friends. You shock people you don't even know oh, on the street. Okay, it's like you'll just come out on top of your shell of your game. Excuse me, out of your shell. You'll peel that old layer, and I think this all has to happen. All this crap for you to kindly form into the new person, like a transformer almost, right? When you're ready to get out of your old crap, your old situation, your old shell, your old house, what do you think the turtle and the crab does? They come out eventually when they heal themselves within. You know, you take the time to go within, hide, hide, hide. Okay? Hide and hide. And you'll go BOOM! <laughs> Boom! You'll come out on top. Boom. There's your reading for the month of July, Cancer. Um, this all connected and matched so beautifully, and I think it's very clear what you guys are going through and what's going to come out of it. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to post the Aquarius one next. See you guys. <laughs>